And over in Sydney, they're actually chanting, Obama, Obama, we love Osama. What's going on, guys? It's Saturday, September 15, 2012. Are we seeing the beginning of the SHTF? It sure looks that way. What do you think is really going on here? I find it hard to believe that this is all over a, a video insulting Mohammed or whatever. I haven't seen the video. I, well, I, I really don't care about the video. I, I think that's complete nonsense. My opinion, the video may have been the spark. Whether or not it's a CIA uh, operation or not, I don't know. But whatever, what, whoever is responsible for it, it, it seems to have been the spark that has set off... Um, all you got to do is turn. I mean, there's too many stories to link you to. I'll link you to this one story here that I just uh, went over. Uh, police gas Sydney protesters. Uh, pull it up and watch the video. It's only a couple of minutes long. The news report, what's going on in Sydney today. Uh, I think the, the whole world is pissed off, man. I think the whole world's been pissed off for a very long time. Very long time. People are tired, uh, um, among other things, people are tired of America trying to police the world. I love my country, but I don't support my government. I've watched over the years as, as my government has, has sought to police the entire planet. We're flying our drones over all these countries. I mean, what happens if these countries fly their drones over our country? Are these countries not allowed their sovereignty? What gives us the right to play world police? The world is about to hand our ass to us. I believe that's what's going on. I believe people have just simply had enough. But uh, not only of the United States, of because it's not. This is not. People might not fully see it, but this is not a United States problem. This is a New World Order problem. You know, it's not the people of the United States doing this. It's the people of the United States allowing it to go on, because most people don't care as long as they can have their freaking their new iPhone and play with their Facebook and have their American Idol. They don't give a damn about what the government's doing. Even though it's the people's responsibility to take charge when their uh, their government starts to get tyrannical. Is it not? But sadly, with all of the fluoride and all of the dumbing down, nobody in this country is smarter than a fifth grader anymore. So here we have it. America is going to have its ass handed to it. And, you know, if you think it looks violent now, looking around the world, just wait until this, this crap starts in America, because it will. Don't think that just because we're not seeing violent protests in America that it's not going to come here. I think it's just the start of it. And I feel sorry for our first responders in this country. Because it's when it starts here, it's my belief it's going to come completely unglued. And nobody's going to be able to stop it. I think the New World Order is just going to step back, watch people kill each other. They won't give a damn. They want world depopulation anyway. You know, there's a, there's a threat over here, one of many. Hundreds of threads going around the internet right now. Behead those who insult the prophet. Put a link to it. Really? See, this is this is the moment in time where I am damn proud that I could say that I'm an agnostic. That I don't follow any belief system. I follow the belief system that I don't know. That's the belief system I follow. And be 
because of that, I don't get insulted when somebody says something about God or Jesus or Muhammad or the God, the goddess. I don't, I don't get insulted by that kind of stuff. I don't care. It means nothing to me because I don't believe. I believe that I don't know. Extremism. You know, religion has sought to divide mankind since its inception. And that's true whether you're a Muslim or whether you're a Christian. Let's be fair. You know, because... And I'm friends with a lot of Christians. I'm friends with some Muslims on here. I have no problem with either. I have no problem with atheists. I'm friends with Wiccans, with different... Uh, pagan groups because see I admit to myself to thine own self be true I admit to myself that I don't know the answer I don't I don't think that my maker whoever or whatever it is wanted me to know I think different cultures around the world were given different books and said, this is the way it is, and it's no other way, and you're going to believe this, or you're going to burn in hell, or whatever's going to happen to you. That's dangerous, man. That is dangerous. And this, what you're seeing now is the result of that. The brainwashing, the programming. And to the Christians, you know, you might look at the Muslim world and say, oh, these people, this is completely wrong, and what they believe is wrong. Guess what? They say the same thing about what you believe. I don't want to insult anyone, but you're exactly the same. You are just as extreme as they are. Because you're not open-minded enough to see it a different way. To a lot of people, the Bible, this is this is the be-all, end-all, there's no other way, and this is it, this is God's word, and this is the way it is. If you stepped outside of that box and just looked at yourself from the point of view of an open-minded person, you would see how extreme that sounds. I'm blessed that I don't believe that way. I'm blessed I don't have that belief system. I believe in the universe. I love the universe. The gods, the goddesses, whatever. Whatever it is. I don't know what it is, but whatever it is, right on. I love the fact that I can admit that I don't know. And I don't trust any man's book. No matter who or what you say that book came from, I don't care. I don't trust it. Because I don't know. I gotta look up at the sky at night and the stars and be like... Look, man, I don't know. It could be this way, but it might be that way. Anybody familiar with Zachariah Sitchin's work? Maybe we're just slaves made by the Anunnaki. It seems just as plausible as the story in the Bible. It seems just as plausible as the, as the first 30 minutes of the movie Zeitgeist. I don't know. I don't know. Man, I'm glad I can admit I don't know. That's freedom right there, man. That, to me, is liberating. Admitting that I don't know. And no thank you, I will not submit to your belief system, no matter what it is. That just makes me feel free. Man. Knowing that I don't, I don't feel the need to get down on my, my knees and ask for forgiveness from some God that I don't know exists. That's freedom to me. I love it. I love being open-minded enough to see it that way. And I could be friends with a lot of people. You know, just because I don't share your belief system doesn't mean we can't be friends. I'm friends with all kinds of people. I don't have a problem with what you believe. Believe what you believe. I'm surely going to believe what I believe. And you're not going to throw Bible verses at me and change my mind. <laughs> Trust me. A lot of that going around on YouTube. Make a video about anything. Current events. Jesus is coming back. You'll get a lot of that. Is he? 
I don't know that. The Bible prophetic? Yeah. It appears we're seeing the book of Revelation play out right now. I'll admit that. But maybe the people who really gave us that information knew that it would end this way. Maybe this has happened several times. How do you know how do you know how many times it's actually repeated itself? You don't know because you weren't here. Maybe this has happened hundreds of times. I don't know. And I'm glad to admit that I don't know. You know, this, this video may... I may gain friends or lose friends. I may gain subscribers or lose subscribers. It doesn't really matter. That's not the point. The point is, to thine own self be true. This is me. This is what I believe. I believe that I don't know. But we'll watch the extremism. We'll watch the world come unraveled. Nothing I can do about it sit back and watch this foolishness we'll sit back and watch mankind come undone tell you what I don't know but no matter what you believe I love you anyway you guys have a good weekend